Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. Different liners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oracio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come Peace to me. you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsol. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, the devotion to the Holy Child, or the Santo Nino, is the oldest and one of the most popular in the Philippines. And the Holy See has granted us a special permission to celebrate the Feast of the Santo Nino, every third Sunday of January. The Feast brings us to our attention, or brings to our attention, the mystery of the childhood. This means loving and open and trusting the disposition to accept the Lord's gift with gratitude while seeing ourselves as humble stewards who serve the Lord in the least of our brothers and sisters. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. 
we pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for the intentions of this Holy Mass. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, to you my, brothers my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Is to be born of 
Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the heavens, and on earth be so is the people of the Let us pray. Almighty God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth and became a subject to Mary and Joseph. Grant that we may learn from his example to embrace your will in all things and holding fast to the dignity of all. Serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Isaiah prophesies that through the child who shall be called Prince of Peace, God will grant peace and rejoicing to his people. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every clock rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon his shoulder dominion rests. They named him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the king, the Lord. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad.
God loves us and has made us in adopted children in Christ. Paul reminds us to live up to our dignity by leading a holy and blameless life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessings in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the he beloved. Therefore, I, too, hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of all love for all the holy ones, do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to to festival custom after they had completed its days as they were returning the boy jesus remained behind in jerusalem but his parents did not know it thinking he was in the caravan they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances but not finding him they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw the him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. As Jesus advanced in wisdom, age, and favor before God and man.
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kapag ako po ay nagpupunta sa mall, or di naman kaya noong pong uh, normal pa ang ating pong uh, uh, buhay na may mga bata pa na nagsisimba po or nakakapasok ng basilika, kuminsan po o madalas naiirita ako sa mga magulang na pinapasuot sa mga anak nila yung mga, for example, yung bata na 3 years old, 4 years old, or 5 years old, ay pinapasuot na nila sa kanila yung mga pangmatanda. Ano pong ibig kong sabihin? May nakikita ako kung minsan po yung batang babae, hindi makalakad ng mabuti. Bakit? Yung nanay po, pinag-heels yung bata. Di ba? Meron po yung mga nanay na gusto nila yung mga, ba, yung mga anak nila ay naka-heels ng mga 2 inches para daw mukhang dalaga na yung bata. Pero yung bata ay 5 years old pa lang. Di ba? Or for example, meron yung ibang mga batang babae, pinapasuot na ng mga sexy. Dahil sabi nung nanay, Father, ang ganda kasing tignan, ang cute-cute, para siyang batang matanda. Di ba? Yun ang pangapinapasuot sa mga kanilang mga anak. So, yung bata, in the end, hindi komportable. Kasi hindi marunong maglakad doon sa sapatos niya na may, may takong, hindi rin siya komportable kasi nakikita yung kanyang pusod kasi yun ang pinasod sa kanya ng kanyang nanay o kanyang tatay. Di ba? Pinapatanda yung bata. Pero meron nga po tayong kasabihan, di ba, sabi sa atin, hayaan mo maging bata ang mga bata. No? Let the children be children, be young. Sabi nga po nila. Ganon din po, yung ating pong mga santo ninyo sa ating pong mga bahay-bahay. Di ba? Meron yung iba, yung mga santo ninyo po nila gusto nilang suotan ng parang nakabasketball. Yung iba po gustong suotan ng parang parang teacher. Yung iba po gustong suotan na parang doktor. No? Yun po yung kanilang gustong ipasuot doon sa kanilang santo ninyo. Again, kagaya din po sa mga bata let the santo ninyo be a young Jesus. No? Hayaan niyo po si Jesus na maging bata. Kaya nga po ang tawag natin ay ninyo. Ibig sabihin po ay bata. No? A young child. A young Jesus. Bakit ko po sinasabi ito? Importante po kasi sa atin ang tinatawag po natin na image. Ano ang image na pinapakita natin? Di ba? Kagaya po ngayon ng mga politiko, di ba? Pinapakita sa atin ano ang image nila, no? So, for example, ano ang color nila? Meron yung sinasabi nila, they are red, meron yung iba pink, yung iba green, di ba? Importante po ang image. Ganon din po sa imahen ng santo ninyo, si Jesus in a form of a child. Bakit po bata? No, importante po yun na malaman natin. Kasi, may gustong ipahiwatig sa atin ang simbahan. Jesus is in the form of a child so that we can learn from that child. No? May matututunan tayo sa bata. Kaya nga po ulitin ko, let the children be young. Let the children be children. Hayaan mo ang mga bata na maging bata. Hayaan niyo si Jesus na maging ninyo, no? maging bata. Bakit po? Because the church would like us to learn from the childhood of Jesus. Ano ang pwede natin matutunan sa pagkabata ni Jesus? Yan po ang celebration natin ngayong araw na ito. The Feast of the Senor Santo Nino or the Santo Nino in our, our common uh, language. No? Dapat po sineselebrate natin to every third Sunday of January, no? ito po yung tayo mga Pilipino ay privilege na mag-celebrate. Ito po ay regalo sa atin ng, ng, ng Vatican. Bakit? Dahil tayo po sa Philippines ay na-evangelize una, na-evangelize sa pamamagitan o sa tulong ng imahen ng Santo Nino, di ba? Kaya nga po, uh, very 
very obvious sa atin ang ating pong uh, devotion din po sa Santo Nino, no? So today we are celebrating the feast of the Santo Nino, ang batang Jesus. Bakit po bata, no? Kasi sa ibang mga araw naman po sineselebrate naman natin, for example, yung Nazareno, matanda na po ang itsura niya, no? Yung cross, di ba sa cross, matanda din po ang itsura niya. But in a special way po today, we are celebrating the child Jesus, ang batang Jesus, ang ninyo Jesus. Why? Again, sinasabi po sa atin ng simbahan, we can learn from children. We can learn from the child Jesus. At sa ating pong gospel, meron pong ina-advise sa atin ang gospel na kailangan natin matutunan sa batang Jesus. And that is what we call obedience. No? Ano po tong obedience? No? Nakita natin po in two ways kay Jesus. Dalawang beses po na pinakita to ni Jesus sa atin. Una, nung siya ay ipinanganak dito sa mundo. ba? Diba? He was obedient to the heavenly Father. That's why He came to be born like us para may, pa, may silang kagaya po natin to save us from our sinfulness. And second, nakita po natin na hindi lang po siya obedient to the Heavenly Father. He was also obedient to His parents here on earth. Kagaya ng nakita po natin sa ating pong gospel ngayong araw na ito. ba? Diba? They went to the temple, nagdasal, naiwan si Jesus, nakauwi na si Maria at si Jose, binalikan po nila si Jesus. At nung binalikan nila si Jesus, He was enjoying His stay in the temple. Pero anong sabi po ni Maria? Umuwi na tayo. Let us go home. Sabi po ni Mary. Anong sabi ni Jesus? Okay. He was obedient to Mary and Joseph. Sumama si Jesus pa uwi sa kanila sa kanilang tahanan. Again, Jesus was obedient to His parents. So today po, the character that we learn from Jesus is His obedience to the Heavenly Father and also to His mother here, uh, who's, who's to His parents here on earth, to Mary and Joseph. Importante po yan that we obey the will of God kasi madalas po ang ating pong sinusunod lang ay ang ating mga sarili. Madalas po yan ang nagiging problema. Kaya that is the reminder of Jesus in our gospel for all of us today as we celebrate the feast of the Santo Nino. Kasi kung ano lang ang gusto ko, anong gusto ko, anong magpapasaya sa akin, di ba? Pag naririnig nyo po sa, sa TV, bakit ginawa mo yan? Kasi ito ang nagpapasaya sa akin. Wala akong pakialam sa iba. Kasi ito ang gusto ko. Kaya wala akong pakialam sa iba. No? Ang nagangyayari na po lahat ngayon ay gusto ko, gusto ko, I like this. Ito ang nagpapasaya sa akin. I don't mind anybody. But today, Jesus reminds us that we, are need, we need to be mindful. Ano po ang kailangan natin intindihin? The will of the Father. The will of our Heavenly Father. We need to be obedient. Bakit po kailangan natin to be obedient? Because God will always lead us to what is good. Madalas po kung ano ang gusto natin, hindi po ito nakakabuti sa atin. Kaya po, we need to discern ano ang gusto ng Diyos para sa akin. And God will lead us the way. Yan po yung pinakita sa atin ng child Jesus. He was obedient to His parents. He was also obedient to God the Father. So as we celebrate po this Mass, let us try again to look at ourselves. Ano pa ang ginagawa ko sa aking buhay? Ginagawa ko lang ba ang aking gusto? O nakikinig din ako sa Diyos? Ano naman ang gusto ng Diyos para sa akin? ba? Diba? 
kagaya po, for example, nung kami po ay, o ako ay nasa seminaryo, nagtatanong din po ako, Lord, anong gusto mo sa akin? Ako ba ay magpapari? O ako ba ay lalabas ng seminaryo? Maraming pag-iisip po yan. Maraming discernment po yan. Yan po yung sinasabi sa atin ng ating pong Panginoong Diyos. No? Lalong-lalo na po ang sa ating story ngayon, Jesus is telling us to be obedient to the will of God. Why? Ulitin ko po, because God will always lead us to what is good. Not only because it will make us happy, but that will make us good. Yan po ang mas importante. No? Yan po ang pinaka-importante. When we obey God, God will lead us to what is good and what is beautiful. Secondly po, as we celebrate the Feast of the Senor Santo Nino, pinapaalala din po sa atin ang ating debosyon sa Santo Nino. Kasi marami po sa atin ang nagkakaroon po ng iba o confuse na na debosyon sa Santo Nino. For example po, yung iba ayaw nilang bumili ng ibang damit ni Santo Nino. Gusto nila nakakolor green. Bakit po nakakolor green? Kasi ang green daw po represents money, dollars, pampaswerte. Kaya ang imahe ni Santo Nino ay pampaswerte na lang. No? Nakalimutan po natin na ang imahe ng Santo Nino is dirt to venerate, no? to be venerated. Ibig sabihin po, ang imahen po ay nandyan para tulungan tayo na magdasal. No? Ang imahen po ay nandyan para tulungan tayo na tularan ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. That is what we call veneration. So ang mga imahen po natin ng mga santo ninyo ay hindi po pampaswerte. No? Kaya madalas po kapag ako ay nagbleblez ng bagong mga establishments o mga shops, sabi po nila, Father, blessan mo nga yung santo ninyo ko para swertehin naman kami. Hindi po pampaswerte ang imahin ng santo ninyo. And more confusing po, kung madalas, no, kapag ako ay nagbleblez ng isang establishment, nakakalungkot po na yung santo ninyo ay katabi ng pusang gumaganito. Di ba? Yung pusa na gold ang color, na pampaswerte. Nakalimutan na natin, iba ang pampaswerte, iba ang imahen. Ang imahen ng santo ninyo po, uulitin ko, ay nandyan para gabayan tayo. Para una, para tayo ay magdasal. Pangalawa, nandyan ang imahen ng santo ninyo para tulungan tayo na gayahin ang karakteristik ng isang bata, kagaya po ng sinabi ko kanina, the obedience of a child to his parents. Yan po ang sinasabi sa atin ng ating pong celebration ngayong araw na ito. Today, we learn from the child Jesus how to be obedient to the will of the Father and why we need to be obedient to the will of the Father. And second, The church again reminds us that the image of the Santo Nino, kagaya po nang meron sa atin ngayon dito, no? The image of the Santo Nino, the piat, no? Ay hindi po pampaswerte. Ang mga imahen po na ito ay nandyan para tulungan tayo na magdasal at para maging mabuting Kristiyano. So as we celebrate then the feast of the Santo Nino, we thank the child Jesus for letting us learn from Him. And most especially, we pray that through His powerful or mighty mighty power, no, He will help us and guide us to be like Him, to be obedient to the Father. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith 
I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, my Lord, who is conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the, of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended, he descended into hell. And on the third day, he rose again, again from the dead. He ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. On this feast of the Santo Nino, let us pray to the Father to make us worthy of being His beloved children. Let us remind or remember in a special way the children of this nation and around the world. In every petition, let us say, Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. For the church, may she never lose the spirit of a child and so live with the spirit of friendship, freedom, and openness, we pray. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. For those who hold public office, may they care for all children, show them the beauty of life, and guide them to the respect of laws, we pray. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. For all children of God, may they grow in faith, charity, and fear of the Lord, so that their whole life may be an endless praise to the Father, we pray. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. For all of us, may our celebration of the Feast of the Santo Nino be marked not only by cultural and religious festivities, but also by a deepening of faith in Christ, who is always attuned to the will of the Father, we pray. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. For all the faithful departed, may Lord grant them perpetual light and peace. Hear the prayers of your children, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, hear the prayers of your children, Lord. Father, hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. May your word and the Eucharist be our support and guide. Give us a childlike disposition, for your kingdom belongs to the little children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for on the peace of this all-filled mystery, through or though invisible in His own divine nature, He has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages, He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> Santo, 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 Holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, 
and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Thank you. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the act of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Loving Father, you have nourished us with the bank at the banquet in honor of the child born in, of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and works of love so that we may find favor in your sight. Grant this to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Please kneel. Prayer to Santo Nino de Piat. Santo Nino de Piat, you have, or you are the divine child, Jesus. We believe in you. We adore you and we love you. Have mercy on us, sinners. We come before you in response to your love. We come in response to your mercy and grace. We are here because you invited us to come before you and to pour out the cares of our hearts to you since you deeply care for each of us. We remember your words to the disciples. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Trusting in your infinite goodness and trusting that you always keep your promise, we now ask this intention which we pray in silence of our hearts. Thank you, Santo Nino de Piat, for listening attentively to our prayers all the time. We hope that you will ask this before our Heavenly Father. And if what we ask for may not be for the good or for our may not be good for our salvation and sanctification, we trust that you will grant us instead what we truly need so that one day we may be with you for all eternity, enjoying ultimate happiness of heaven. Santo Nino de Piat, bless and protect us. Santo Nino de Piat, bless and lead us. Santo Nino de Piat, bless and provide for us. All this we ask through the intercession of your Holy Mother, our Lady of Piat, and in your powerful and most holy name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcements. We will now have the second basket collection to support the mission apostolate of the Church, specifically for the assistance to the children of the world. Those who wish to give more may give your donations at the parish office specifying that it is intended for the social action projects of the Basilica. Thank you.
places them. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and be obedient to the Holy Father. Thanks be to God. Please kneel. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.